Hello and welcome to Heavy Metal Rex. My name is Wace and today I am sitting here in my garage burning the midnight oil. Tomorrow is my Diode Dynamics open house and I'm in the garage because I still have a couple of things to do. Uh, one thing that's left after I install the lift kit, which I don't know if you're gonna see that video before or after this because I have tons of stuff recorded, but nothing really edited because I've been so busy. Um, the bumper bar. I have wanted to get this bumper bar for a long, long time. I wasn't sure what I was even gonna do with it when I originally thought about it. And as I got closer to the purchase date, I had a great idea, which was one of my original ideas, and I did it. Obviously, from the thumbnail, you already know that I got a bumper bar from LP Adventure, the large one, and I painted it cherry blossom red. I have wanted to do ch more cherry blossom red on this car uh, for some time. And actually my original idea was to make most of the car cherry blossom red. And I gave up that idea. Uh, I don't know why I gave up that idea, but now we're fixing it. So what you guys are looking at here is LP Adventures large size bumper guard for the VBWX. Now, a big thank you to LP Adventure for hooking me up with this part. Uh, I'm incredibly happy to have had their support uh, because this is a difficult thing to do. And it's a large piece, it's an expensive piece. Uh, they were able to get this in my hands with a relative ease. And I've actually had this for, I wanna say about a month and a half maybe, maybe a month. Uh, I just I wasn't ready to do this because I wanted to get the tires, I wanted to get the wheels and the suspension put on and change a couple of things. Obviously for this to go on, I did have to take off the front lip, which is white. As you guys know, most of my accessories are white, but it looks like things are, things are gonna be changing. Uh, this is not the color that it comes in. And more importantly, this is, uh, I painted this. Now, everybody knows that <laughs> Subaru paint is pretty fragile and the paint that I actually just did on this is pretty, is just as fragile. So um, this comes in like just a stainless steel or you can get it like coated black, I think. But what I did was I put on a primer on it and I just painted it cherry blossom red. Um, I don't even know how long this paint is even gonna last because it's, it's just rattle can. So once I go through one dirt rally, it could just be chipped to hell, but you know, it's still pretty cool looking. It's still a, it was a fun thing to do. Uh, I gotta say the packaging for this was impeccable. I mean, it was covered in pool noodles. It had all kinds of stuff. Um, it was wrapped, double wrapped, triple wrapped. As you can see, it took me forever to take it apart. Um, I did end up using Rust-Oleum's uh, metal primer on this. And the paint that I used is actually the cherry blossom red that Grimspeed sells. It's those rattle cans that they sell. I picked them up from Import Image Racing. So if you guys are looking for any of this stuff, I'll have the links down in the, the description below. Um, already I can tell some parts of the paint didn't really work. I don't know why, I guess, uh, because I put it upside down. I'm, I'm not really sure. It easily has peeled off, even though I thought it'd be okay. But this was just a preliminary to see if it's even something that I would like. And if I like it, I'll probably have it professionally painted, professionally colored uh, to match the car. But as the way it is right now, I think it actually looks pretty good. Um, a lot of people are not that big of a fan of Cherry Blossom Red, and that's okay. Uh, it looks a little bit pinkish, and that's fine. That's the color that it's supposed to be. I already have the Cherry Blossom Red mirror caps, and I thought this would be a nice statement piece. Uh, it's gonna be right in front of the car, it's gonna be huge, it's gonna be bold. It adds a little bit of color to an, uh, currently what I think is a little bit monochromatic of a car. So let me show you some of the things that this actually comes with. So over here are all the goodies that come in the box. Obviously they've been nice enough to send these. It's a really cool keychain. You've got some LP Adventure stickers. You have the mounting hardware that's gonna go to where the tow hook is. Uh, you do have the front plate that I am probably gonna leave this the uh, metal color as of right now and I'll probably do something with this later. I think I'll probably do like white, I don't know. Uh, the hardware to go with the front plate and they also give you some mounting hardware for lights. When I eventually do decide to get lights, obviously I'll be using this mounting hardware or any other mounting hardware I would need. So I will put this aside for now. As you can see, I've actually already kind of gotten started because time is of the essence for me, but I'm still gonna walk you guys through 
the basic installation. It's actually not that difficult. You do need to remove the plastic bumper guard that's underneath the car. That's really the, the main thing you need to do. And there's a couple of other things that I will show you down below. Uh, they do have instructions online, which is what I've been following. And uh, it's like I said, it's really simple. There's actually three main things you need to do. And we're gonna go by them step by step. First step is you need to remove the plastic bumper guard. That is just held on by plastic clips and uh, these two bolts over here, I think they're 12 millimeters. So you not pull those out and this comes out. Number two, there's actually a bumper guard or a scrape guard down below that I'll show you guys that you need to remove the two, also I think 12, 12 millimeters as well. It's one here. Let me make this. Oh boy, yeah, my guy. Yeah, my camera doesn't do very well underneath the car. I need to figure. So there's two of these, one here and one on the other side. Both of those need to be removed, but not the back ones. So just remove that. That's step number two. Step number three, on the plastic bumper guard, we actually need to cut holes because those bolts that we're gonna take off from the radiator support are actually what are gonna hold that up. That along with the, um, the attachments that I'll show you again that go under the tow hook area, which is this guy right here. So that's gonna go on the inside, the bumper guard will be on the outside and it will get bolted through here. The way that they recommend this, and I've actually flipped this so that we're looking at the bottom of the tray. So LP Adventure does have a full PDF instruction guide on exactly what to do here. And the recommendation is to use, obviously if you have uh, something better than what I'm using, I'm just using measuring tape here, is to measure from this center notch right here, 12 and 7 eighths. So that puts me right there. And I'm just using my screwdriver here to just score the plastic. So I know what we're looking for. Then you need to go up to this ridge right here from the mark that you made and measure one and one eighth inch up. So I made the mark right there. That's the ridge and I'll measure one and one eighth. So that would put me right there. So I'm just gonna score that a little bit so I know exactly where to go. Now, they use a hole saw. I don't have a hole saw or a hole drill. What I do have is I have my Dremel. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually just going to, instead of making a circle, I'm just gonna cut like a little square or um, <laughs> whatever it is that I'm able to do. I don't even know if uh, that's going to work out so well because I actually have never used this Dremel to cut plastic like this. So let's see how it works. Okay, what does that look like on the other side? All right, cool. That should be enough clearance to get it through. Cool, I made like a little box right there. So that's not bad, let me show you guys. So as you can see, I just made a little box and hopefully that is where it needs to be. It seems like it's, uh, I'll measure again here just to make sure. I think I may need to cut a little bit more over here but let me double check the measurements. Okay, so I did actually have to cut a little bit more to get the right measurement. Obviously having the hole drill is a, a much, much easier solution, but sometimes you gotta use what you have. And so I have a Dremel and that seems to have done the trick for me. So now what I'll need to do is basically just recreate this on the other side of the plastic for the second bolt. All right, now that that's done, what I need to do is I actually need to reinstall the plastic bumper guard back on uh, and then need to obviously double check, make sure everything fits and then take it from here. All right, now comes the hard part. I need to raise this so that it aligns with the tow hooks down there, and I'm not really sure how I'm gonna do that by myself. I think I'm just gonna try to pick it up and use my legs to support it uh, the best that I can. I don't, I don't know how else to do it. So 
uh, that the pieces that we need are these guys right here. These are actually going to go on the insides of here underneath the car. So let me see what I can do. And I'll show you guys what it looks like afterwards. So it's, it's really hard to get the my actual camera out down here, but this is what you actually need to be able to see. You see how now there's this hole here that goes over to the radiator brace, and that is what you want because the bolt that they're going to give you or the bolt that you're going to use and put through the bumper guard is going to go into here. Okay, oh my God, everything is on. I had the hardest time aligning the two bolts that go into the radiator shroud. And oh my God, dude, my arms and legs are killing me. Uh, overall, I love the way it looks. What I don't like is my paint job. My paint job, as you can see, it's actually already peeling, which kind of sucks. That just means this was not a very good paint job, which I understand. I didn't do any clear coat on it or anything. I had a feeling that it wasn't gonna be that great of a paint job, but I really like the way it looks. I'm not sure if I'm gonna put the, the uh, centerpiece on yet. Uh, it actually is a really cool design. It does have like the LP Adventure logo in front of it. So I'll probably put that on tomorrow, but it is the end of the night and I'm actually getting pretty tired. Let me show you guys what this looks like. So it's been a couple of days and as you can see there's tons of dirt on this bumper bar so this I'm actually recording this outro after the Diode Dynamics show. You can see it is now morning time so clearly a lot of things have happened and some time has passed. Overall I gotta say I am incredibly happy with this bar because not only did the paint actually hold up after it dried of course minus some of the scratches that I put on it. Um, it actually took a hell of a beating because I ran into some issues when I was at the Diode Dynamics show, which I don't want to spoil too much, but you guys will see later on. Overall, for a guard, it did its job exceptionally well. So big kudos to LP Adventure for making something incredibly badass, but also structurally viable. Uh, big thank you to them for even sending me out this part. Uh, also, a big thank you to Import Image Racing and Dane for sending me out the paint as quickly as he could, even though <laughs> when originally my plan was to do it that quick, I ended up not even doing it for like a few weeks, so that one's on me. Uh, they're always great with their shipping. This has been like, the more I look at this, the more I love it. And I know that there's there's some hesitation when it comes to Cherry Blossom Red on, on our cars or really any car because it is definitely more pink than it is red, but I think it is a staple of the Subaru color and I really wanted at least some part of it on this car because I, I think it looks really cool. And, and you'll see from the pictures and the videos later in the next video from my Diode Dynamics video, which I'm gonna work on tonight to try to get it out tomorrow. Um, it looks great in motion, right? To have something that is not only functional but also looks really cool is, that's that's the kind of parts I prefer. Uh, now the installation, again, it wasn't that bad. The only issue that I really had was um, getting the bolts to line up with the the radiator brace and this, but uh, I mean, it just was some trial and error. What I ended up doing was I ended up loosening the bolts in the back of the radiator brace just a little bit, just to kind of move the brace around. Um, 
but that's just that's the most time that's going to take you. Uh, the rest of it was incredibly easy, especially if you're not going to paint it. This, if you're not going to paint this, you could probably get done with this in under an hour. Um, especially even if you only have one person, I ended up putting it on the jack, as you saw in the, the sped up portion of the video, I, I actually laid this on a jack and I just jacked it up. And that made it pretty easy to be able to line it up with the car. Um, the bolts that needed to go into the tow, the tow areas on the side were very easy. No issues at all with that. I, I realized I completely forgot to film that particular portion of the video. Uh, they actually just lined up very neatly because they're the way that they're cut they actually go into the the tow area so you don't you don't even have to worry about trying to line it up so overall very surprisingly very simple installation and again i've never claimed to be uh, an expert at any in any of these things and hopefully lp adventure didn't expect that either but overall we got it on the car i did end up putting the brace on there which uh was nice because it kept dirt from going into the intercooler which was really nice uh, so I would suggest putting that on. Now it does have four mounting brackets for lights and I, am, I will be working with Diode Dynamics to put some lights on here as well. So this is just the beginning of some of the off-roading stuff I want to do to this car and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy it. Hope you found this informative and I will see you in the next one.